Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Right back at you on the Blockchain Podcast. I got my extra special guests in the building, my continuum family, my familia, you know what I mean? My sisters in Web3, that is. Christina Bruhan, Tess, what's going on? We got Slave Ventures in the building. We got Continuum Family in the building, on the Blockchain in the building. And we at Investor Week. Shout out to Laurel. What up, Starter Co? Startup Co? Come on, listen. We have a bunch of VCs in the building. We got investors. We got sponsors. We got tech. We got music. We got real estate. We have a bunch of different, man. We got aviation in the building, man. Listen, a lot of different aspects of this spectrum. And these young ladies are here to tell you what's going on what it is hi hey everyone super excited to be here i'm tess with slave ventures we are a vc fund uh we are specializing in future tech and we have a special interest in finding those female founders that's right hey folks i'm christina bruhan i'm ceo of continuum market they call me data points in the industry continuum is a private entrepreneur club for blockchain and ai brands so they can stand proudly in front of congress and defend their business model even if it goes up against today's current regulations right everybody that's data points over there so when y'all hit me up and y'all like oh gee you're not fucking with this no i'm not man because the data don't support it you're your dig this is how we rock over here continuing family to the death so listen let's listen ladies how are y'all loving and these two beautiful young ladies they've been moderating they've been on a panel like they've been working they've been working they've been working how's it going it's going amazing uh really great uh crowd here lots of it amazing experts that have been here i'm um, learning from every panel if you did not make it to investment week to start up starter this time definitely plan to be here next year because sure. you do not want to miss out as a vc looking to invest in startups if you weren't here you missed out <laughs> but you can still find me it's okay but definitely be here next year I would agree. This is one of those quantifiable rooms that Continuum is betting. Do you deserve to be in these rooms? Are you ready to be at this level where they're quantifying everything about you? These VCs, they peer into your soul. You better have your data points in order if you're going to be in the blockchain and AI community. Yeah, like what? So, like, I'm going to ask you, ladies, what are some good pointers or, you know, skills for these people to know before they would even come and be involved in an event like this? Um, I think one thing definitely is to uh, do your research. Um, I I love networking. I love in real life events. And I think the biggest way to maximize them is have a game plan. So if you're going to come to an event, check out the agenda, find the people who align with what you're trying to solve as your mission and make a point to be at their uh, be at their sessions. Uh, talk to the, talk to them. You could. This is an amazing opportunity that you don't always get right. to get access right. to these types of people. That's pick true. their brains, get advice, um, and so it's a really great opportunity. So definitely preparation. I think is very important. Yeah. Preparation and research. I heard that. I would agree. I'd say also uh, on top of the research to know who you're going after, be ready when you have that one moment. Make sure your deal room is ready. Make sure that you have your you know, I's dotted and T's crossed because they're going to ask you. And it's their job to say no. They're looking for one reason to say no. So as we say at Continuum, have your tech team and intentions in a way that you can communicate very quickly and quantify month over month growth. All right, and that's data points for you right there, man. Y'all need to be taking some homework. Man, this is an episode where y'all got to have your pen and pad ready, you know, okay? You got to be taking notes, like open up that note, that notes in your, in your phone, whatever you got to do, okay? But you're supposed to be writing some of this down or you're going to have to just keep going back to check and rewind the, the footage because, listen, man, we're giving y'all some real game out here to get your hands and feet in the space of Web3 NFT. And listen, you know, Everybody's looking for funding. Everybody's trying to raise some money and everybody has a startup company. But what do you need to do in order to even attract an investor? What do you need to do? Or how should your business be running up uh, up and running already? How should it be structured, you know what I'm saying, already before you're even able to present anything to an investor? Um, that's a great question. And I think that uh, in Web3 specifically, what we need to do is think about things in terms of traditional investing and traditional business. 
Um, as a proponent for Web3, one of the big things that I'm passionate about is the standards that we're maintaining. So that way, like Christina says, as we go to go into these rooms and have these conversations with the enterprises, with the government, these big conversations that are going to be important to move our technology and our future forward, we need to have things in check. And so being able to have things set up like any other startup, any business is important. Um, you know, being able to say, not just I have an idea, but here's the idea, here's where it's built, here's the MVP. And this has been something actually that, um, that's been a, a bit of a trend at this in event. You know, people talk about the market, they talk about there's not a lot of VC funds going out. Sure. Um, I think we are a bit more cautious and with things like technology coming out, like AI and all of these opportunities, there's honestly not a better time to be an entrepreneur and build something. But at the same time, there's not an excuse to at least have something built. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take it a tiny step further, <clears throat> specifically because I said we're comfortable pushing up against today's regulations and continuum. That's because we're extremely fluent with what today's regulations currently are and what future economy models might look like in 2030. But today's regulation is very, very strict, especially if you're in fintech or a highly regulated industry like real estate. All of those legally compliant licenses, credentials, um, endorsements, the partners you work with, your sales, daily active users, your community, those are all things that can be quantified. And so if you are going to be in the blockchain and AI space, you're probably disrupting something very, very big. And that means you need to know what it looks like today and why you are the one to reshape what it will look like in 2030 about what consumer behavior is gonna look like then. We're in a very transitory period where we have have a little bit of grace time if you're willing to be transparent and be registered at places like Continuum, be registered at the AI Trust Council, right. be registered at these collaborative networks and prove that you're willing to be part of the overall scientific community looking to bring this technology uh, actually forward in a safe, compliant way from cybersecurity as well as the actual markets themselves because token markets are very vulnerable right. to manipulation. Um, the cybersecurity ones and zeros and having things QA'd, uh, your disaster recovery plan. These are things that are fundamental to a regular business that even the smartest people we see in blockchain and AI sometimes overlook and the investors don't overlook a dang thing. They have a very detailed checklist of what they're looking for. It's a big piece of what we do at Continuum is be able to match make the thesis to the brands that are actually going to accomplish the things they say they will. Right. So what we say at Continuum is if it's real, we should be able to measure it. If we can't measure it, you're not ready for Continuum. Right. And that's, that's good. I like you said it because, you know, we got to hold ourselves accountable, of course, but other people accountable as well in this space. You know what I mean? And that's how we thrive. Yeah. That's right. And I want to ask you, so like as far as regulations and compliance and all that, like, okay, obviously everybody's not lucky enough like me to have, you know, you, you in their life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like data points is like, what about he the... He can saying? call me anytime. He knows he can call me anytime. He's like, is this real? You know what I'm saying? So like for those that don't, like, I'm sorry you don't, but Joe, get you, get you a Christina Bruhan in your life. You dig what I'm saying? But for those that don't, like, what, what, what's, what, what's some advice that, you know, how to, I mean, using Google, I don't know, like, what, what's, what, what, what would they do? I'm working on it, folks. This is why we're building the Continuum app is actually to have that data be uh, democratized where everyone can know what I know, everyone can know the people I know, and know why I value them so much in my life, know what right. their data points are, and how those data points ping pong off of each other. Right. The biggest thing to look at to know if something's real, someone's asking you for money, it's probably not real. Consider it a scam. Yeah. If it's not listed at Continuum, I can't vouch for it. If you do think you have something that's real, please come reach out to us at Continuum. Rooms like here at Startup Starter, they trust me to bring things forward, knowing that I've done deep due diligence, not only on tech team and intentions, but the value of the person and the contribution to, are my is my network gonna wanna work with this person? Which can often be a huge detriment to finding the right fit, is sometimes having realistic expectations of where you are right now as a startup and myself uh, kind of coming out of bootstrap mode and moving on to other things and understanding you need to be ready for the big boy conversation. If you're scrappy, you're getting out there and you're hustling it and it's your entrepreneur mode and you're grinding, great. But you also better know what the big dogs expect. Yeah, you got to it, it comes a time when you, you want to level up and you're going to get to that level where it's like, 
And with, how's your infrastructure? How's your foundation? You know what I'm saying? How's your, how's your organization and organizational skills? And how's your team looking? How's the team work? Like, how's the flow? Team flow, cash flow, everything. So it's a lot involved in it. And uh, like, like she said, like, you know, you got to dot your, dot your I's and cross your T's for sure. It's all about data points. Yeah, that's it. Come on, come on, come on now. <laughs> like, and so, like, how was the, um, I see you was moderating earlier. Like, you... I'm technically master of ceremonies, so I'm transitioning every panel. I'm getting to know everyone, I'm meeting amazing people backstage right, right. that are blowing my mind, which is great mm -hmm. because Slay Ventures and Continuum has some announcements about some private extra rooms and events and experiences that we're going to be curating. Uh, I'm going to let Tess decide. As I do at Continuum, I'd much rather the brands talk for themselves because I'm under NDA for everybody. I know too much. So what we're going to do is actually let Tess make the big partnership announcement between Slay Ventures and Continuum. Exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. <laughs> Yes. Alpha, alpha, alpha. Here's the alpha. I know everyone wants it. So we're so excited <laughs> to have this partnership between Continuum and Slave Ventures to bring these amazing experiences to the Continuum Network, where we're going to be bringing together investors, founders, entrepreneurs, all of these big brain people that Christina is talking about. We're going to pr provide a new different ways to bring them together. And we're excited because we're going to be doing this at Art Basel as well as Coin Agenda Puerto Rico. So if you, have not, yes, if you have not <laughs> tapped in yet to Continuum and Slave Ventures, make sure to tap in, hit our websites, follow us on all the socials because you will want to be there. We're gonna have really exciting things uh, to bring in it. And how do you get in? You gotta be in Continuum. You gotta go register. I mean, you gotta go take your ass to Continuum website, go register, because listen, man, we don't even like to throw the FOMO shit out there. We don't like to do that. But listen, but you, yeah, but you wanna be right now you want to go get right now right now like whether you're on your computer whatever device you want man you better go get a second device your your your, your girlfriend's or your boyfriend's device and go sign up to continuum listen because continuum market is going to change your life and you will now have the access and the, and the resources that i am privy to you know what i'm saying and this is what helps us thrive as a as individuals in a community and as a community within the ecosystem well i would love to say one final thing <clears throat> everyone fits in the continuum somewhere Right now, we are focused on the actual brands themselves because they need us the most. Right, right, but right. anyone can register at Continuum because we will have future products that's available to the masses. People that are in my family are like, who do I trust? What brand is right for me? I met this game. It's a 3D, it's a 3D avatar. This is a wallet. Can I scan it? So many questions and a lot of fear out there. A lot of fear. We're just trying to have a list at like a white list. These are the good guys. These are the guys you can trust. And their products are pretty dang great to check out. There's right, no right. one else out there bringing together a database like we're doing here at Continuum. Nah, no, you know, nobody, I'm not gonna say nobody cares. That, I'm, that's not, that's, that's a hard statement. But what I'm going to say is nobody is looking at it like how we are and nobody is taking the time and the initiative to care about you guys like we do, you know, because we treat ourselves like this. We a team. This is family. And we treat ourselves like this within our circle. But then we also extending our love, extending the resources, access to knowledge and everything in between to you guys, to the listeners, to the to the viewers, to the, you know, women, men, it doesn't matter, right? So like, um, yeah, like take us up on this and um, make sure y'all stay ahead of the curve because I mean, this is gonna be some data point questions we have in a second too. Like, are NFTs dead? What is the real climate of the Web3 right now? Like, started. We're, right. we're still at the infancy, we're in a nascent right. industry. And as I say on my LinkedIn, you know, Web3 won't work without unified standards. So right. I've brought together the experts that can collectively say, those are the standards. Generally, the people who give out money like this are really good experts to say that does or does not meet my standards. Right, right. That makes sense. That makes sense. And so what, um, what would you ladies have as some advice for, um, you know, females, young females, older females coming up that want to get involved somewhere within Web3, NFT, blockchain? They just, they're hearing these words, which are kind of new. They, they, these, these words are kind of new to the vocabulary, like, you know, within the last few years. So they're hearing these words thrown around. They really don't know what they mean. They're not sure. And because it may be, say, mass, um, you know, um, mass media, or mainstream media, they have a negative connotation on it already. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, I think uh, definitely number one, uh, join Continuum. I just feel like that's the answer to everything. <laughs> um, I think uh, a good cliffhanger is, are NFTs dead? Absolutely not. Uh, the blockchain is not going anywhere. And for your trust factor, Continuum Network. There you 
go. There you go. I appreciate that very much, Tess. Uh, the other side of things is really, you know, get for, for young girls out there who are interested in these converging technologies of blockchain and AI. These are still really new and even the experts are learning new things every day. So your best opportunity, just like anyone who's interested in science, technology, engineering and math, is that this all works together. So study everything you can, physics, chemistry, biology, it all works together. To be educated, you need to understand the ones and zeros. So probably a good background in coding or having uh, an understanding of cybersecurity in general. It's probably a really great place to start. And I'll tell you, when I went down the rabbit hole, I was learning about new brands and you can find some at Continuum, of course, but I was reading their white papers and phrases I didn't understand. I would then take and go Google. Right. And I realized even Google isn't prepared to deal with our industry yet. And I said, well, I have to build better data. So we'll build Continuum. So that's one answer to it. But that opportunity to dig into public white papers there's so much information out there yeah. there's so many videos and people who have open source code and these projects that are fundamentally changing everything first you need to understand well what's today's current standard what is it exactly they're changing why is it so important that you remove a middleman economy or you create own your data structure or you have cybersecurity standards why might that be important right. and to understand that you really need a holistic view of the whole world so study history understand psychology understand what drives human beings um, in general and then you really have a better grasp on the technology yeah, get a fast outlook on life because in web 3 we think outside the box you know we open and receptive to everything you know to be able to make a, a clear decision on it so like I, I want to say like I, I want to salute you ladies first and foremost you know investment week like we had a wonderful time out here and I love how you keep giving back to the community and allow, like, you know, everybody's not able to be at this event, you know what I'm saying? And so, us as people of the community, Web3 community, the blockchain community, like, I, I think it's like our, our duty to do what we're doing right now, to spread the word, to, to extend that access to everybody that's not able to be here, like, right. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's like in a, in a community vibe, and I, and I just love that, how we work together, you know, we don't compete over here, we collaborate and we build, you know, there's no destroying over here, and um, it, it's no, it's, it's, it's all love, you know, and I, I want to take this time out to just say, like, ladies, man, continue to keep doing the great work in this space, you know, we salute always, first and foremost, the queens of Web3, the women of web three you know and as much as y'all have to bring to the to the table you know what i mean to the to the situations and um yeah man I, I would love for the people to get to know y'all like i do you know like um what's the la last one well, data, data point like what's the what do you think is the um the situation with the cyber security say with this ai like can people trust ai really trust ai the greatest thing about artificial intelligence is right now at this point in history, it's still really dumb. That's the best part about it. But it's gonna require all of us coming together and deciding what our standards are because you can't QA it, quality assurance. You can't test it and pressure test it the same way we've always tested data and systems before. So it's gonna take some new education to decide, can we really trust these things? And what cybersecurity firms have poked it with a sharp stick enough that we trust them, that they've trusted. Right. There's a lot of trust involved. You see the layers of trust? This is why blockchain and trust is so important. That's, that's, that's a good question. That's a good answer. And, you know, we always have to continue to do our research, guys. First and foremost, do diligent. Do your research. Do your history on whatever it is that you want to do, whatever it is that you're looking for in this Web3 space and whatever you're looking to get out of this Web3 space. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to provide more than you could ever imagine. Trust me. Trust us. You know what I'm saying? And with data points in your life, you know what I'm saying? Slave ventures in your life. Listen, man. You're going to have, this is like, this is the trifecta right here, guys. So, look, guys and girls, so what is your social media so they can stay in contact with y'all? Continuum is the continuum.network and continuum.market will be the marketplace. And you can follow us on all socials at Continuum 3000. Hello. Yep, and we are slaveventures.io. I'm Tess Robinson on all the platforms. It. that's it that's it come on listen we love it we love you ladies man continue success keep pushing keep pushing all the boundaries you know because this is what we're here for we had to disrupt and push boundaries and um 
align ourselves with like-minded individuals like you guys and girls, man. So until next time, we love you. Tap that subscribe button. Hit us up in the comment section. Peace. On the block, part of the continuum. That's right. And you know where we at. We in the Zero House, which is the tiny house, guys. So in case y'all didn't know, listen, data point, in case y'all didn't know, man, listen, A&B prices rising, hotel prices rising, we on the go, we traveling, man, we at F1 Abu Dhabi, we, I mean, we at, we at F1, we gonna be in Abu Dhabi, but we at, yeah, we, 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 we gonna, we gonna take, we, shit, man, we gonna fly it there, how about that, you know what I'm saying? But man, we taking this to F1, we taking this to Miami, wherever, we going cross country in our tiny house, zero house, man, much love, much love, baby, you know what I mean? And we, and we love y'all, and stay tuned. Peace.